Morning families, I have some Bible and prayer to share with you today for our chapel. Most mornings when we get started uh, in uh, art classes, I'll pop in and just share a few things that the Lord put on my heart. And I just want to encourage all of you out there today with what the Lord is saying. And um, we're going to look at our Bibles for a few verses. We're going to start with Genesis chapter 1. The very first verse, verse one. So get out your Bibles if you have them handy and you can read along with me. I'm going to read it to you. Genesis 1, 1. I'm reading in the New King James translation today. The, um, the very first verse of the Bible says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. I find it very interesting, especially in the context of art and creativity, that of all the things God could have said about himself, start off the Bible. The very first thing he tells us about himself is that he is the creator. He's creative and the creator and many other things as well. But it's interesting that he chose creator to be the very first thing he told us about himself. Now, um, if, you, if you've read this, then you're familiar with the story of creation. If you haven't read it, I'd encourage you to read it. Genesis chapter one, it's really interesting. It's a good place to begin with the Bible back at the beginning. But it, I'll just summarize for you. It tells us that God said what he wanted and then it became so. He created light and he created the animals and he created the fish and the birds and then he created man. And so we're going to skip some of that, <clears throat> but I would encourage you to read it on your own. We're going to skip down to Genesis 1, verse 26, and read to you that then God, after he's created all of these various things in the earth, then he, God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Verse 27, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them, and then God blessed them. So interestingly, the first thing God tells us about himself in the Bible is that he's the creator. And then just a few verses down, he shows us, he tells us that when he made mankind, he created man in his own image and likeness. His own image and likeness indicates that we have very similar traits to God in our original creation. So we look like him in a lot of ways. We act like him once we're there. Of course, there was the fall and then there were the things that complicated us uh, and our relationship with him, but then Jesus restored us back to right relationship with the Lord. And so now we can still have those same characteristics and, and behaviors that our Father God has, just like children. Biological children often resemble their biological parents. They have similar hair and eye color. They have sometimes similar gifts and talents. They have similar strengths and weaknesses often and you can often tell family groups because they look and act in similar ways so i wanted to encourage you today that although a lot of us sometimes feel like we're not very creative we're not very artistically talented um, the bible says that you are created in the image of your heavenly father you're in his image and likeness therefore once you are born again, you've invited Jesus to be the Lord of your life and you're born again, then you do have similarities with God. And I believe that creativity is one of those. It's the very first thing that seemed to be on his mind to tell us about himself. And so it should be something that we consider ourselves. It's true. We are creative. We're not all necessarily going to be fine artists. We're not all going to paint and draw exactly the same way in some amazing capacity, but that doesn't mean we don't have creativity inside of us. You might express your creativity through something entirely different, through one of the other artistic endeavors like video or, or baking or music, writing music or singing or composing, um, playing instruments. You might express yourself, your creativity in a totally different way with creative inventions or witty engineering ideas or, you know, making, I don't know, math worksheets seem super easy or teaching or <clears throat> being a leader in government, you do have creativity in you. 
and you have re resources available to you from heaven. God wants to show you things and help you with things and improve, help you to improve yourself and help you to reach our generation, your generation and the society at large for his glory. So I wanna encourage you that even though you might not have always thought of yourself as a creative person, you do have creativity inside of you. You do have a resource inside you that you can come up with great ideas. And I think that right now, it's super important that we be praying that we can tap into everything that God had designed us to do and to be, because we're in an age where we really need so solutions and answers and we need people to come into their destiny for lack of a better word we need people to find what god put in them and get it out because our generation our society is really in need one of the things we need right now is for scientists and medical personnel to have brilliant inspirational ideas straight from heaven about how to cure diseases and how to treat people who are sick we could use that right now so i'm going to pray for you that you will tap into you will first recognize that you are made in god's image and you do have creativity and resource inside you and it's available to you through heaven and the holy spirit and that second you will tap into it and you'll get it out there and be a blessing to people who need it right now Oh, I'm going to pray for you. Father God, I just thank you, Lord, that you are the creator. You invented creativity and you put creativity inside your kids. And I just thank you, Lord, that in this season, especially, you're just going to help us to look inside for what you've deposited in us. That's a gift. And we're going to look to you outside above us, Lord, that you have answers and resource for us for all of the problems and difficulties and challenges and destinies that we have uh, according to what you planned before we were ever even born so i just ask lord that you would help us to hear your voice and to recognize in in your word the uh answers that you have for our future and for our present, Lord. And I just bless everybody who's listening to this, who's watching this. And Lord, I just ask that you would just visit them in special ways and speak to them, speak to their hearts and speak to their spirits, speak to their minds and show them interesting ideas and how they can be creative so they can answer the call that this generation needs, Lord. In Jesus' name, we give you glory. We just thank you so much for Jesus. In Jesus' name. Okay, so we have some interesting creativity coming up for you today. We have a Facebook Live that's going to start at about 1130. John's going to show you some 2D animation with a rocket ship using Flip a Clip, the free app that you can download for your phone or your tablet or I think your Kindle Fire even. And then we're going to have other interesting things coming up. Anna's going to be showing us some pen and ink drawing if you even if you don't have a special pen she's going to show you how to do it with the ballpoint pen it's going to be a really good week of creativity and so we look forward to seeing you and i hope that we catch up with you at 11 30 when we go live the next time have a great day